see what happens. Okay. So doing net ionic equations, I'm going to go through the quick case again. Um, you want to write aqueous reactants as ions. This is actually one of the hardest steps, if you can do this. So let's say I have calcium chloride and I'm reacting with silver nitrate. What are the ions from calcium chloride? What, what does that break apart to? And so I have to recognize this, that that's a calcium and there's two chlorines. That's, that's really, really important to be able to recognize this as three different things, right? And then what's the charge of the calcium? So no one's typing. Okay, the calcium is a group 2A metal. So when it forms an ion, it's always two plus the 2A. The chlorine is a 7A, so it's always minus one. The silver, and then I have to recognize the nitrate as a polyatomic ion. And so that's really important too. I see some people will break this into a nitrogen and three oxygens, and you don't wanna do that. It's a single thing. So we find the charges. And then we switch places. Who goes with who when they switch? That's actually the second step. And that's, that's also one of the hardest steps. To switch partners. Metal, you have to join metal with non. That's really important. And you have to have a net charge equal to zero, okay? And so who's gonna go with who here? I see that, who's the cal calcium is gonna go with nitrate. It was already with chloride, that's the only way it can go. And silver is gonna go with chloride. So how will they make, how will calcium and nitrate come together? How will they make a zero? Can you guys see this? Okay, we got 17 people now. All right, so I guess I'll just keep chatting away. No one's, no one's commenting. So I'm, I'm guessing this is fine. Or maybe you're watching YouTube, I hope you're not. Okay, so anyway, so calcium's two plus, nitrate's minus, so I'm gonna need two minus ones to go with one plus two. Let's see a NO3, two. And then the silver and the chloride are both plus one and minus one. Now remember, I have to put the metal on the left. And if it's plus one and minus one, it's just one to one, AgCl. And so I'm going to ignore that coefficient of two. Then after that, I'm going to balance with coefficients. Um, okay. And so I guess what, I, and what I'll do is I will, um, write the skeletal equation. So these are the products. Those are the reactants. So now CaCl2, let's put it, these guys are aqueous plus AgNO3 also aqueous, because those were reactants they were given to us, goes to CaNO3 2 plus AgCl. And so nobody's saying anything. So we're going to balance. And it looks like, well, the metals are balanced, calcium 1,1, one, one, silver 1,1. One, one. I have two chlorides here and one chloride there. So I'll put a 2. And when I do that, now I have two silvers, so I'll put a two over here. And now I, that gives me two nitrates, this balances with the two nitrates. So now I have a balanced equation for, um, I'm going to find the states of the products.
And when I've done that, I have a balanced equation. Right. And so, and also we should note that you're going to use a solubility table. Um, in the video lectures, I talked about other cases like an acid base neutralization and a gas forming, but we've really ignored that for the lab. So for this lab, you're going to use a solubility table. And so in this case, I'm going to realize that this one is soluble because nitrate is always. And in this case, this one is insoluble. That chloride is um, usually soluble, but not with silver. And so I basically just rewrite the whole thing. Um, CaCl2 aqueous plus 2 AgNO3 aqueous goes to CaNO3 2 aqueous plus 2 AgCl aqueous. Okay, then step five is write. all aqueous as ions and leave gas liquid solid quote as is right so in this case this is kind of difficult like we did up here we have to break them back into ions again i've already done this one and I've already done that one, except there's a two in front. So that would be calcium chloride, whoops. Calcium two plus aqueous plus two chloride minus aqueous plus, now I have two silver, two silver plus aqueous plus two nitrate minus aqueous goes to this is also aqueous, so this would be calcium two plus aqueous plus two NO3 minus aqueous. I'm gonna put the silver down below. Now this one, oops, that one's not aqueous. Whoops, that's supposed to be a solid. I said insoluble. Okay, so the silver two AgCl, solid, not broken apart. Okay. Uh, Six, right all aqueous, leave gas. Da, da, da. Okay, so six is cancel out spectator ions. And so in this case, these are what are the same on both sides, meaning probably aqueous. And so if I, let's do this in red. So it looks to me like calcium was aqueous and the two nitrates, were, they were just floating around. They didn't warm the solid. Um, step seven, write what's left. And cancel out common denominator, common denominator. So in this case, what's left is two chloride aqueous plus two silver plus aqueous goes to two silver chloride solid. And so in this example, there's a common denominator of two. So I'm gonna divide that out and then eight, what's left equals the net ionic. And so that would be chloride minus aqueous plus silver plus aqueous goes to silver chloride solid. And that's kind of the final 
steel. Okay, black. Oops. Let's make it black. Okay. All right. And I guess the only reds, I, other reds I have was this two here. And this one's soluble because of NO3 minus. And this one's insoluble. Let's just say from the table. Okay. Is that, is that easier to see? Okay. 